Across North America, ancient sites keep repeating the same problem. The dates say simple societies. The measurements say something else. Take the Bighorn Medicine Wheel. Its stone spokes align with the sunrise and sunset at the summer solstice, and with specific stars rising on the horizon. The tolerances are tight. Small errors would miss the targets entirely. Now look at Serpent Mound. The head aligns with the summer solstice sunset. The coils track lunar cycles. The earthwork stretches over 400 meters, shaped with curves that only make sense when viewed as a whole. Then there is Cahokia. Its mounds were arranged around a solar calendar now called Woodhenge. Posts marked equinoxes and solstices with repeatable accuracy across years. These sites are separated by distance, culture, and time. But they solve the same problem the same way. Large-scale construction tied to celestial cycles, with error margins that leave little room for guesswork. The timeline says these societies lacked writing, advanced instruments, and formal mathematics. But the alignments work, and precision does not happen by accident. The question is not whether these sites are real. The question is whether our expectations of ancient North America are too small to explain them.